Hello everybody, Fiasco back again at Disney Springs today to share with you four spots I simply cannot get enough of at Disney Springs. These are places that I just come back to and back to time and time again. Sometimes these spots are just auto includes every time I'm here. Before we get started though, if you enjoy these type of videos, or even if you don't, if you just like us, please consider supporting our sponsor for all these videos, Dreams Unlimited Travel and planning your next vacation. All that information and more down in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and see some of my absolute favorite spots. All right, first and foremost, we do not need to travel far from where I just filmed the intro to tell you my first place. And that's a dining location, and that is the Boathouse. I don't care what anybody says. I adore the Boathouse. I always have. Um, now, if you don't know, you probably do if you know me at all, but I'm from New England, Boston, Massachusetts. And one of my favorite spots up there is in Rhode Island, actually. It's Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, and what is what we're really known for up in my neck of the woods is our fried seafood, mainly our fried clam strips. You can't throw a rock where I'm from without hitting a place that does good fried clam strips. That cannot be said, however, the same for Central Florida. When moving here, I thought, you know, maybe I'll have a hard time finding good pizza, Italian food. Nope, that has not been a problem at all. The one thing that has just been so difficult for me to find are good fried clam strips. And no place in Florida that I've found does it much better than the boathouse. They got fried clam strip, fr fried Atlantic clam strips, and they are delicious. Just as good as I know them to be back in Massachusetts. Um, and really that's like the main reason why I love the boathouse. But also another reason why I love it so much is it reminds me of Newport, Rhode Island. Anybody who's been there and also has dined at boathouse will tell you it seriously gives off that vibe if you don't know, Newport is like a seaport, a sea town. Lots of cute restaurants, dining and shops and things of that nature. Boathouse really brings me back there. Um, and it, like get a table outside, you just can't beat the views. Just incredible. Uh, they got those rolls too. Those rolls are some of my favorite pieces of bread that I eat at Disney World. And that's saying a lot because I eat a lot of bread at Disney World. So that is the first spot I can't get enough of. And let's move on over to number two. One more thing I wanna plug, but is not included on this list, is a combination of Chicken Guy and AMC Theaters. Uh, a routine that me and Haley would do almost every weekend we got the chance is we'd go see a movie at AMC and we had the A-list program. But in this past year, that tradition has been, it's gone away and she loves the dine-in theater portion of it, and I don't. So the routine was we would always come to Chicken Guy, and I'd eat at Chicken Guy, and then we would go see the movie, and she'd eat at the movie. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we come back to that soon, but that would have been on this list a year ago. All right, next up on our list is right behind me there. It is Basin, the best, arguably the best smelling store at Disney Springs. Oh mate, depends on what you're in the mood for. If you're in the mood for food, there's a lot of ways to smell food here, but as far as like nice relaxing smells, this is the best and I am frequently stocking up on basin products, hand soaps, bath bombs, the hand scrub things. We always have a lavender, one of those on deck. I just love the sense of basin. Um, Haley and I are both big fans of Lush as well. And Haley prefers Lush products, but me personally, Basin all the way. It's one of my absolute favorite stores and the smells are just incredible. Uh, particularly uh, their peppermint products, their relaxation or therapy scents are also awesome. And I got some flack for saying it the wrong way before, but, uh, Satazuma. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm saying it how it looks, but that scent too, it's the orange one. So good, so good. Can't get enough of that place. And that's gonna bring us on to number three. For number three, we have the Marketplace Co-op. 
and I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently and walk through it with you so you can see why. Now this store is where you're gonna find some of the most unique things that you're gonna have a really hard time finding anywhere else. Art, clothing, they got um, an area over here where you can make your phone cases, which I know you can do at other parts of Walt Disney World, like, you know, Tomorrowland and stuff, but you can also do it here. And then lots of cool scents and candles. They have this kitchen section, which is always changing. The store is always changing. Blink twice and they'll have new products. So that's just another reason why I'm always coming back because they always have new stuff. But probably most importantly, they got the little pet section of the store, which of course, like always, the dogs get way more love than the cats because that's, there is really cute stuff, but that's, that's everything. But like every animal store, the dogs always get the most love, but we found our cat's cat bed here, which doesn't look like it's for sale right now, but they used to have like the Mickey and Minnie cat beds. And uh, yeah, but in addition to the co-op, the co I also really like Trendy, which is just connected to it, you know? And sometimes you can find some pretty unique stuff here too. Uh, this was another location where when uh, they sold the Guernas Frozen perfume, you could buy it here. But that scent has since been discontinued, which is disappointing because uh, that was like the best scent ever. Haley also just noted to me to make it a point when you're in Trendy to look up because there's lots of cool things that maybe you haven't noticed before. You just gotta take the time to look up. Right, Haley? Yes. She says yes. I know I won't get away being me and not mentioning this store, so I'll throw it in as an honorable mention. The only reason it's not making the list is because if I'm picking up some limited edition pins, I can do that at any of the parks. Um, I'm more focused and harping on in this video some things that are unique to Disney Springs and that, you know, I've, I can only really do here. So I come specifically here to do those things. I don't like necessarily specifically come to Disney Springs, go to pin traders, although sometimes I will, but it's not something that I'm always doing because I know I can hit, uh, you know, the dark room at Hollywood Studios or Frontier Trading Post at Magic Kingdom, et cetera, et cetera. So with that, I felt like that explanation was needed. We will move on to our fourth and final spot I can't stay away from. Just a side note, I know there's a basin at Grand Floridian, but it's way, it's way more difficult to get into the resorts than it is the parks and obviously way easier also to get into D Springs than it is the resorts. So there are two though, if you didn't know, you can also go to the basin at Grand Floridian if it's on your path. All right, and art of Disney is our final stop. This is the art store at Disney Springs and it is by far the best art store on property. There are so many unique things here that you're not gonna find at the other art stores. There's autographed, autographed lithographs, autographed notes that Walt wrote, uh, autographed contracts from Roy Disney to, you know, uh, voice actors who played different characters in the animated movies, autographing different paintings as well, along with just all the other Disney art, the art on demand stands. There's just so much awesome stuff here. You can find a lot of like the uh, the land signs. I've found a lot of the attraction and land signs here. Uh, you know, I have the Jungle Skipper plaque up in my office that, that I found that here. Also, there's frequently artists actively doing sketches and it's just so cool to see. Uh, we happen to stumble in today and there were art two artists actively doing sketches. Here's some of the work that was, was being done right now. There was a, uh, this one looks kind of like moose, but um, yeah, I, I, 
I love Art of Disney and it's especially challenging to go in there and try to keep like from spending money because you can easily break the bank in the store. Lots of very pricey art, like I mentioned, the, uh, the signed autographed contracts from Walt and things of that nature. Those run a pretty penny, but not to mention just like Disney original painted art or even Disney replicas in general run a pretty penny anywhere between, you know, like a low end of 50 bucks for a print to, you know, like two, 300 for a canvas painting. And then, you know, some originals in the, in the thousands. Uh, and then, I mean, autograph stuff is obviously a completely, completely different story, but yeah. Um, that was right there. My four places at Disney Springs, I just can't get enough of places that I just keep coming back to over and over again and why. I feel like these are unique things to Disney Springs that either they're the best versions of the other counterparts you have at Walt Disney World or you're just not gonna you're not gonna get the same thing anywhere else. So that's gonna do it for this video and down in the comments below I want you to let us know what your must-do things at Disney Springs are. I need to know. But until next time, I'll see ya.